go. So let's say next, the next one that I have would be, um, well, I'll stay on Facebook real quick. Facebook, they're gonna they're gonna have their what their IPO coming up or it already happened. Or yeah, whatever. I've seen uh, that story come up six times and I have yet to really seriously pay okay. attention to it. Well, this one is just saying Facebook hires team from Android uh, photo sharing app. Dev, uh, oh goodness, it's all the headlines all together, so I'll just read it that way. Facebook hires team from Android photo sharing app Dev Lightbox. To quiet mobile fears. And How does that uh, so they've closed this deal to hire a team of seven employees from Android for sharing app, yeah. Lightbox, which is supposed to stem this worry of, uh, I guess, lack of mobile. Uh, I know they have mobile apps, but I guess they're just not that good. So. And, and, and also I've heard like there's arguments of where do you place the ads and stuff like this so um, I don't know what, the, what a good adjective would be I guess the uh, a better experience user experience for, for, for Facebook on mobile well uh, well here's the real thing with um, mobile right now for Facebook the best experience for Facebook mobile is the apps but that is the worst thing for Facebook's IPO offering because Facebook doesn't, you don't go to Facebook's page and view Facebook ads that way. <laughs> so basically, you know, they said that in their thing and so did, and so have Twitter and so have other companies, you know, basically like, uh, yes, a good user experience is the enemy of our business model. We have to steer them to the site. <laughs> so, uh, and, and I'm sorry, the industry as a whole has not gotten really their head around the idea of an adaptive UI for website interfaces. So, yeah. it, it, it's, uh, in fact, I only know three designers who are focused on doing that at this point in time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know. I think it's going to be interesting because I really see mobile browsers becoming full-fledged desktop browsers eventually and the only thing that we're going to change at that point is is what happens you know for screen real estate and and, and things that you were discussing you know auto sensing and where to appropriately in other words we're not going to necessarily have limited function uh, but man you know a lot of investment because you know that's the thing right now but boy i wonder what the opportunity cost trade-off is going to be in the future for this Oh, well, if you if you make the UI right, like a couple, like like a few people in the industry are saying should be done, zero, because all you do is change a few lines of code as new technology becomes available. If you don't, big time opportunity cost because you invested too soon and now you got to rewrite it to catch up with modern technology and it's redoing everything. Eighteen months later, what the fuck were we thinking? So. <laughs> Basically, people. But I've been there. I've been there. Well, no, no. I mean, well, it, it comes down to how. It's just a pet peeve of mine because I'm so frustrated with this whole mobile versus desktop thing. It just drives me crazy, and I, that's why I harp on it. But to be honest with you, I've experienced lots of drastic changes within the uh, just any type of development. I mean, you know, more recently, uh, well, not so recently, but. I remember when Microsoft went .NET, and then the conversion from the original .NET to, to the second version was a nightmare. And oh my god! I mean, you experience all kinds of uh, <clears throat> excuse me problems in the development chain that just you know. While I harp on this thing because I hate how I just feel we've gone backwards. Well, in a lot of ways, we but, have, but really, yeah. how we go forward from going backwards is going to depend on how smart people are about use of modularity. Because, I mean, we are going to have to throw out some pieces. Hopefully people design their stuff modular enough that we can keep the good and just throw out the bad and rewrite the bad piece rather than have to largely go back to scratch to fix the problem. And I, I, again, that's going to depend on the individual projects, the individual developers, and the individual things. You know, you can write things very, very modular, not so modular, and sometimes what you're actually doing, you know, affects how modular you can be. No, and that, and I guess that's what we're, where we need more um, frameworks to help us get there. 
But, but I, ideally, you write your system modular enough so that if one framework goes away you don't want to and another one is better, you can easily swap the frameworks out too. Well, uh, I mean, I'm saying what I mean by the development framework is that is that the code base from which from which we can start writing and detecting all these different form factors, which is that's at least what is happening. Mm -hmm. You know, we're no longer locked in just to a desktop screen. But you know what? I've, I've run into shops now that have absurd amount of high resolution. I, I mean, absurd, of high, high, high numbers. I remember the days where we were going, wow, you're 800 by 600. And if you had 1020, 24 by 768, you were the cream of the crop. I mean, but today, it's ungodly. Well, no, and there's this real no. debate, particularly in the web, if whether or not we should be stick, stick, sticking to the thousand pixels or less for the lower resolution things, or just saying, screw you people with lower resolutions, we're going 1280. Uh, it, it, it's, um, it, it, it's a real debate, because it's a bad experience on lower end systems, but... <laughs> You know, you're wasting I, I, yeah. so much real estate on higher end systems. Yeah. It, it, it's um, uh, again, I, I think that's the wrong debate, in my opinion. In my opinion, we should be accepting the fact that we're always going to have both, and it's the job of the UI and and you as the designer to make it adapt equally well to both. Right. <laughs> well, no. it, it, it remains it remains to be seen. Of course.